Hi, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be setting up our Grandstream GWN7665 wireless access point. And what we're going to be doing is applying VLANs and also we're going to be restricting it so that it can only access certain things on the network. So keep watching this video and I'll show you how. So if you've watched my previous videos in this short series, you'll know that we've adopted our devices into my GCC 6011 so that it acts as the device management for the switches and also the access points. And we've also, of course, created our VLANs, port profiles and also firewall rules. So what we're going to do now is configure our access point so that it puts our clients into the relevant VLANs and we can also apply rules to prevent access to for example other gateways and also other Wi-Fi clients in the same VLAN that the Wi-Fi client is in. So to do this what we need to do first is as you'll see I've clicked on the icon here which is for network nodes and it looks like the two little network switches. So then we're in the overview screen for the network nodes and what we need to do is for Wi-Fi management click this and then you'll see we get a list of options. We've got SSIDs, PPSK, radio, mesh and block list and what we need to do is select SSIDs and here you'll see that I've already created three SSIDs, GWN7665-6 and hyphen 2, and also GWN7665 without any hyphen. Now all these are put in associated VLANs, as you'll see. So we've got guest VLAN, security VLAN, and also the other one, which is guest VLAN. So to create our Wi-Fi networks so that we put the clients in the relevant VLANs what we need to do is click add then this will take you into the Wi-Fi configuration screen so under the Wi-Fi option you will need to turn this blue to enable it then in the name box here we'll give the Wi-Fi network a name so for example what we will do is call this test and then for the associated VLAN option we will enable this by clicking the slider and then you will see we've got a VLAN box. Now here is where you put your clients for this SSID called test into the relevant VLAN. So as we've created all the VLANs already, they already get populated into the access point screen here. So what you can do is for, for example, the test VLAN, say that we want to put our clients into the guest VLAN. So what you would do is select guest VLAN and then you, what you would do is select the SSID band. So if you want the clients to use 2.4, 5 and 6, you would tick all of those boxes. Or for example, if you want to just put your test clients for this test VLAN into say the 2.4 gigahertz band, then you would just tick one of the bands. Then moving down to security mode, you'll see we've got WPA2 by default. So what I like to do is select WPA2 and WPA3 so that it covers the new WPA3 security mode as well as older devices and clients which don't have this option but will use then WPA2. So then for the WPA key mode, leave this as SAE, PSK. And then for Wi-Fi encryption type, leave that as AES. And then in the Wi-Fi shared key, we will type in the Wi-Fi access password. So in this case, we'll just do a test password of 123456789. And then we can click the little icon here and it will reveal the password just to check that it's correct. Then what we'll do is move down to the client isolation option. Now here, there's four options you can use. Now, as you'll see by default, we've got closed. Now, what this will do is it will keep the clients in the relevant VLAN. So they'll be put into the guest VLAN here, which we've selected. But for client isolation, what it will do is if you select closed, it will allow your Wi-Fi clients to communicate with each other on the Wi-Fi network. So any clients connecting to this test Wi-Fi network here will be allowed to communicate with each other 
and for example, ping each device on this Wi-Fi network with the closed option. Now it will also allow you to communicate with wired clients, which are also in the guest VLAN. So for example, if you have a server, which is allocated to the guest VLAN, then you'll also be allowed to communicate and interact with that from the Wi-Fi clients. However, if you don't want this option, you can select radio. And what this will do is isolate all of your Wi-Fi clients from each other. So they will be not be able to allow to be talking to each other. So if you select radio, your Wi-Fi clients in this test VLAN, which are connected to guest VLAN, will not be allowed to communicate with each other. So they will be isolated from each other. So if you don't want that option, say for example, you have say a home assistant server, which you want to allow interaction with, or for example, you want to send a file from one Wi-Fi client to another, then you would not need to select radio because it will isolate the devices from each other. So they will be not be allowed to send files, for example, to each of the Wi-Fi clients in the guest VLAN. So what you can also do is if you want, you can select internet. What this internet option will do is grant you internet access. So your Wi-Fi clients will be allowed to access the internet, but they will not be allowed to access any private IP address. So that includes devices on this same Wi-Fi network called TEST and also guest VLAN. So any clients on the TEST Wi-Fi network or in the guest VLAN will not be able to interact with the Wi-Fi clients when you select internet. All they will be granted is internet access. However, with this option, they will still be able to ping the internet gateway so they will still be allowed to ping the gateway which is allocated to the guest VLAN. So in this case, it will be the GCC. So it will be the gateway of the GCC. You would still be able to ping and connect to the gateway for the guest VLAN, which is the GCC. So if you don't want that to be allowed, say for example, you don't want to be allowed to be able to ping this gateway, then what you can do is select the gateway Mac option. Now what the gateway Mac option will do is still block all private IP addresses. So you can still block it from talking to other Wi-Fi clients in the guest VLAN and on the test Wi-Fi network, and also block access to other wired devices in the guest VLAN. However, you will be allowed to ping and connect to the gateway for the guest VLAN. So you will be allowed to access the web page for the GCC connected to the guest VLAN with the gateway Mac option. Now, in most cases, I would recommend selecting the radio option so that all clients are isolated from each other. However, of course, if you have such things as a home assistant server, then I wouldn't recommend selecting the radio option, but I would recommend selecting the closed option. So in this case, as I would want the Wi-Fi clients to access, say, a home assistant server, I would recommend selecting the closed option because in the previous video, if you remember, we did actually block access to other gateways from other VLANs with our firewall rules that we created. So that was in the previous video before this one. So if you didn't watch that, then you might like to watch that video where I show you how to create firewall rules so that you cannot ping the gateway of other VLANs apart from this guest VLAN. So the best option I would use is select the closed option. But of course, if you want to select a different option, which I've just explained to you, then please feel free to do so. So once you've selected the option there, all you need to do is go down to device management, and make sure that the access point that you want this SSID to be applied to is ticked. And in this case, I've only got one access point, so it's ticked by default, as you will see here. So once you've done that, all you need to do is click Save, and then that has created your Wi-Fi network, and any clients that connect to the test network 
will be put automatically into the guest VLAN. So you don't need to select any port profile rules for the access point. All you do is set the Wi-Fi network to apply to the associated VLAN here by selecting the relevant VLAN. Now, of course, if you want to have multiple VLANs that you can choose from, then I would just recommend creating another SSID with a different VLAN. So for example, you see I've got GWN7665-2 and then any clients that connect to that Wi-Fi network will be put into the security VLAN. So it's just a case of selecting the relevant Wi-Fi network on your client device in the list of Wi-Fi networks and then whichever one you select and connect to, you'll be put into the relevant VLAN automatically. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. And just one thing to remember that I told you to do is if you go to switch management at the left hand side, select switch and then click on the switch where the access point is connected to. So whichever network port the access point is connected to. So in this case, we'll select port. And in this case, it's port 17. You will see that we've got the port profile set to all VLANs. So just make sure that the port profile for any access point ports on your switch are set to all VLANs and which I explained in the previous video as well. So that is it for this video. Hope you found it useful and hope you liked the previous videos in this short series as well. And if you want to post any comments, please feel free to do so. Thanks for watching this video and I'll be back again soon with more videos. So bye for now.